Hello YouTube, it's Zomorox26, and welcome to my world. Yes. So, for the last couple weeks or so, I've been playing some survival single player on peaceful mode, and it's been very fun. Um, I've been doing it because I enjoy the challenge of, like, mining and, like, gathering materials just like I enjoy like placing every block and just making sure everything is like great and I find that when you build in survival that you do a lot of things that you normally wouldn't in creative mode there's so much more detail the whole place feels alive there's a huge focus on interior work and every detail matters um, I find that when I build in creative mode, my builds feel more rushed, like I'm building just to finish something rather than to enjoy it, the process of building it. Um, this was a hill and I really wanted my home to be at one with nature. So I built it into this mountain hill, mountain hill. And this is my furnace room, I guess. I have, ooh, gold. What else do I have in here? Um, ooh, lots of iron. Lots of stuff. I was mining a couple days ago. I forgot about this stuff. Um, yeah, lots of coal and stuff. Um, I don't think anything's in there. Um, down here are, well, was it was gonna be my uh, my train station, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, it's about like ten flights down to get to, I believe, diamond level is what, like, level y equals 12 or something. Um, yeah, so I, I started working on this little area. Um, I really want to build a minecart station. I'm gonna take us upstairs now. Um, I really, yeah, I was focusing on the nature thing. This is my orange sheep. Come here, sheep. Thank you. Now it's just a sheep. It's not an orange sheep anymore. It'll grow back. Don't worry. You'll be orange again. Someday. And we go back inside and this just remains open so this is all in contact with the outside. And I guess you get on here and here's another bridge to nowhere. Um, we head down to the bottom. <sighs> Lots of stairs guys. I'm sorry guys. And this is yet to be something big and cool and right here we have oh I like this little plant that I put up here up here we have my bedroom which is based on my bedroom in real life like I have my bed in my corner and I have like bookshelves and stuff and a desk against the window and I think it's cool and I wanted to recreate that in Minecraft and a poster and some, you know, I have wool and, you know, lots of wood and raw meat apparently in my in my room in real life. Um, we go up here. It's just totally not real life. I don't have um, precious metals in my closet. Nope. Don't, please don't look in my closet for precious metals. Thank you. Um, so now we are going to head back outside. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, so we have lots of wood here. <laughs> um, I was originally going for more of a stone look, but I just fell in love with the wood textures of this Conquest texture pack, and I kind of went crazy. And I love the bookshelves as well, and I also went crazy on those. I, this is probably my favorite texture in the whole texture pack. And these crafting tables are also really gorgeous. Um, yeah, but I didn't like the way the, the front facing furnace is stacked, so I faced them backwards in case you guys are wondering what this was. Um, yeah. And leaves, of course. Trap doors. This is actually a block of dirt, but psh, no one has to know. Um, we have our little farms. Now, um, these were not built for efficiency. I'm playing on peaceful mode, so I don't actually eat food. 
I just really like the aesthetic of the wheat. It's just so pretty and it it works nice. And over here we have our, all of our sugar cane, which I will probably get rid of soon as well as soon as I have enough bookcases, which is never gonna happen. Yeah, I guess I can show you guys more stuff. This has the boats. This has some farming stuff. Do I have anything? Oaks that Um, yeah, and that's orange wool up there. Yeah, it's very pretty, I think, and I really enjoy my humble home. And there will be many more, and I want to keep you guys updated. So, this is, this has been a good video, and I'll see you guys next time.